Hey guys, this video is to answer a few questions that come up along the way with our natural pavement. So basically it's a super eco-friendly product. It's not going to leach off uh, and kill any uh, vegetation or uh, it's not going to be corrosive to your uh, vehicles in any way, shape or form. Uh, one of the key things is that um, it is a cold mix application. So even warm mix asphalt is considered green. This will create no VOCs, nothing in the air, no issues at all. This is a job we did in uh, Central California. I wanted to show here. this to you. And Notice it's a little bit rough. And back. that's because they didn't roll it smooth. They crowned it well, but uh, they just decided to spray over it. And it's fine. Okay. This will last them and that three, is five years rock solid. Uh, without much maintenance at all. But if there are any issues, all they have to do is spray over the spot that on. thins out due to traffic. We can see here the applications, the service roads, the storage yards, lay down yards. You're going to get a, just from spray on, as long as you've got a compacted base, you're going to have uh, a lot of du uh, durable time on that. Now here it is again, and you can see the surface here. Now you can roll that smooth and get less friction from your from your traffic, which is which is what I recommend. So this is four inches of decomposed granite. That's 30 years old. This is what it looks like if you compact it all down smooth with curb and gutter. This is the Beverly Hillbillies mansion uh, in the in the TV show, and they did the entire estate. You can see here back in the 90s, and they this they rolled on. And then they sprayed over it and locked it in. Uh, here's a park. Same thing. They compacted, rolled. I'm not sure if this one they sprayed on or if they did a one inch or two inch application because it is exactly how it was when they put it in. Maybe a few areas on the edges. Uh, this is 16 years old at the AT&T Center in San Antonio. If you mix in, you're going to get a very durable uh, surface that's going to last uh, again that's 16 years old um, and obviously it looks a little rough around the edges because um, they didn't cut it in now this is the Getty Center from almost 30 years ago and you can see here bad pictures but they are skateboarding on the surface it's so smooth um, you can do as long as it's compacted you can do things like this uh, BMX track with the spray on is only about an eighth inch thick. So when they're done, they can just crush it and move on. Now let's look at this. Let's talk about a substitute for an asphalt wear surface. Now a wear surface is to protect the sub base, but if you can protect the sub base without that, wouldn't that be great? That's what we're suggesting you do. You lock in the compaction you have, create its own wear surface and just go from there. Eliminating the need for everything above the base. Here's an example of our natural pavement from the Hollywood Bowl 30 years ago next to some asphalt that's been replaced several times. Okay, I thought this was worth making clear. We have no expansion joints in our natural pavement because it does not expand and contract because it's non-permeable. Water does not get in there and expand and contract or deteriorate. It also doesn't leave room for weeds to grow up through the cracks that come or through the expansion joints. To be honest, any material that's porous creates a great environment for a root system to grow up through it. And that destroys a lot of these uh, concrete and asphalt surfaces over time. So that may answer a few of your questions. I'm sure there are more. Please contact me or call me or put a comment below and I'll try to answer those questions. But the bottom line is, one thing I wanna make really clear is that our product solidifies. It does not just stabilize, although you can use it for that as well, but it is a solidification product. These jobs you see even on this picture, some of them are 25 years old. Um, we have uh, the ability to uh, spray on or mix in for whatever durability and time you'd like your project to exist. Uh, temporary roads or even permanent roads. Again, let me know what else you'd like to know answers to questions you'd like to ask, and I'll be glad to uh, answer those. Thanks, guys.